All right, so we're continuing our journey towards a better understanding of the base 12 version of pi by looking at this diagram or creating this diagram for 360 degrees using base 12 geometry, base 12 math, and the geometry of the dodecagon. So what we're doing now in this video is looking at the, at the rings we haven't covered yet, the ones that still need to be sort of figured out in terms of how to establish the new degree lines or the next layers of the ring as we keep progressing outwards. We've noticed there's patterns that are forming how uh, the... Uh, the second ring is then those degree lines then show up again in, in the fourth ring and then the eighth ring and then the 16th ring and there's that pattern. Then the third ring is generating sections of five degrees and then that pattern, the third, sixth, nine, twelve, and fifteenth ring, that pattern continues on. And then the fifth ring is, is, is uh, dividing the circle up into three degree sections and that shows up again on the tenth ring and also the fifteenth ring. So now we've Got, looked at the seventh ring already, and then the eighth and ninth have already been taken care of, the tenth. So now we're on the eleventh ring of the diagram, or the B ring, if you want to call it that. What we're going to do is just go over the steps that we would need to take to generate those new degree sections. So we know again that we're going to be able to twin the degree lines that have already been established at the very beginning, the 15 degree line and the seven and a half degree line. So we do our same procedure of marking the outer ring. Um, setting our compass to that length and then and then what we're going what I'm going to do is put some little cardboard circles there just to note that we can draw those circles then we find the midpoint between those circles and then we you know draw a line and we got that established and now it's simply a case again of finding the the the, the twinning that degree line you know, placing those circles getting the midpoints doing the last circles and that's how we find that particular degree line so that's the the, the B ring then the the 10th ring and base 12 or the 12th ring and base 10, that one's taken care of. And then the next ring, you want to do the same thing again. So for this particular ring, we're going to have to do the same process. We start with the 15 degree line and the seven and a half degree line. Now, when we find the midpoint, we realize that's going to be an actual circle. So we just, we can draw that circle on the outer ring. And then again, we're using that one. Now that we've got it placed to find the midpoint between those, the ones that are already established. We, we uh, find those degrees lines and then we're able to twin those degrees, find the, the, the place where their next little cardboard circles are going to go. Then we draw those ones, again, find some more midpoints and we're able to finish off and have all those uh, little cardboard circles in the right place. So the next ring in the diagram is the 14th ring and those degree lines were already established on the 7th ring of the diagram. And then after that, it's the 15th ring. So we're going to get into those degree lines and look at all the math in the next video. Hope you can join me for that. Thanks for watching.